Hi everyone, this is a video about this uh, metamorphic chair that um, they also call it a library chair that it uh, metamorphs to something else and I bought this um, uh, first I wanted to make this myself but when I looked at the costs and the dust and everything that it could make I decided to buy this this is the cheaper version of this metamorphic chair that the price is under 57 pounds and it's really useful but the quality of this item is not something that I have expected First of all is very heavy, second of all is somehow unfinished and third of all the area of the seat somehow is shorter than the normal chair that you can sit on so hence the price drop. If you want to buy one of these the good ones is under 300 pounds and some of the very antique ones they are going under 500 pounds but this is something useful uh, and I show you every edge that you see around uh, these parts they are very sharp very sharp that you cannot even uh, you know pick it up from any of these points and the seats they are all sharp and it's funny that those pieces underneath that I show you later on, those are rounded off. Uh, it has rounded off edges. But the seat and these uh, backrests, they don't have any sort of, you know, rounded surface or a, smooth, a smoothing, you know, feel to it. So it's very uncomfortable for a long time to sit on but um, in general is a simple seat and uh, it acts as a stepladder as well so I turn it to a stepladder and talk more before I turn it to a stepladder there are some latches one here one to the opposite side you have to undo undo these to be able to let you to just turn it round. This is uh, somehow is uh, when you turn it round, it becomes like a step ladder, and you see you can uh, climb up three of these, but not the top one because it has only one a screw at each end. And you can see all the edges, they are very sharp and not really desirable uh, for a chair that you want to sit on and feel comfortable. Anyhow, this one come, came with a minimal uh, instruction manual how to build it. I show you now and we talk more. This is... Uh, the instruction manual that it came with I hope is staying in focus and uh, nothing round the back just this but anyone who has a little bit of experience about DIY or assembling furniture they can easily understand how it's made but there are some screws that they are really difficult to put them in uh, underneath this seat <clears throat> and in order to show you what is the different seating area than a normal chair I put them side by side to show you but this is definitely something useful but avoidable because of all those uh, reasons that I mentioned. When you look at the chair side by side by a normal chair, you can see the sitting area had been cut short from here. 
for no apparent reason just saving some wood or mistakes in design or whatever because this could be still the same um, surface area as the one be behind it but in general this is a very useful uh, item to have around the house rather than having those you know foldable uh, step ladders that you have in the kitchen or uh, wherever else in your home this uh, um, is good for those people that they have they are short of a space in their flats or in their properties and is very very recommendable but unfortunately because of the quality of this I'm not going to recommend this and another point is very heavy this item uh, is uh, weighs as uh, comfortably two chairs together because of the amount of wood has been used in this anyhow uh, i hope you like this video and until my next video thanks for watching and take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time